and welcome to In the Cool of the Day. We are introducing a new segment called Keeping It Real with Donna and David Burks. This couple are strong ministry leaders, telling the truth and keeping it real about everyday life and life in the spirit. They are also successful business owners, focusing on financial literacy, on their health and wellness seminars, and on their up and coming business center. Please welcome our new host of Keeping It Real, Donna and David Burks. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you guys been doing? Great, thank Great. you. Great. Good. <laughs> David, you've been keeping the general here on oh. the up and up? Oh yeah, I had to keep her straight, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, we ha I have a lot of questions for you guys today. I don't know that we'll get them you know, to all of them, but let's get okay. started. Um, Dave and Don, tell us a little bit about who you guys are. Well, uh, to introduce myself, so going back, I'm a military brat from way back when. <laughs> Actually, I'm government owned. I, I tell everybody I got that stamp, stamp. On, on me, right? <laughs> it's a red stamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's um, because I grew up in the military as an army brat, and then I joined the military myself, um, and then I worked for the government and uh, as a uh, government and then defense contractor, and um, now, you know, kind of trying to do the civilian thing as well. Yes. So. Um, so that's been kind of my life, and um, yeah, and trying to serve the Lord along the way. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's a big. That's a big order. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> David, what about you? I've uh, thirty years of uh, automotive service, and then uh, I uh, met Donna, and then I got into the financial part of it. So it's uh, been a really good uh, transition, and uh, I really love what I'm doing and helping people. Well, I, w I gotta tell you guys, you guys have been on the show before, mm -hmm. and it's what been maybe two years ago, mm -hmm. and you had just gotten married, so you you're still newlyweds, <laughs> yeah. right? You're still newlyweds. <laughs> All yeah. right. I see the honeymoon is still going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we're working through it. <laughs> tell me um, about your church, your church home. Are you uh, in a church here in uh, Virginia or Maryland, D.C.? Uh, correct. So really, the uh, our church is Church on the Move in Woodbridge, Virginia. Okay. Yeah, and so. Um, it's uh, actually been kind of exciting with the church or for the church because they're actually they're growing and doing really well. So this weekend, um, we're actually starting and um, they're going to be doing two services. So wow. they're going to go to a 9:30 and 11:30. So it's uh, so it's going to be doubling up and uh, looking for people to get involved in the dream team. So we hadn't been a part of that. So we're going to be joining the dream team as well to help out in the church. Okay. So the dream yeah. team, what? It's so different areas that you can serve in. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, able yeah. Okay. to minister and um, support the church and the people at the same time. Yeah. So y your ministry work is uh, as a as a couple as a team, or do you have different ministries that you you work in? It, it varies a little bit, so we have different callings. So I've, um, you know, mine is kind of is more in the prophetic in a sense, and mm -hmm. so I, I can um, I help with that as well as um, praying, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. praying for people, and and also we'll have some out, outside ministries. So mm -hmm. one of my friends is is trying to help me get um, or wants me to do uh, <laughs> Women of the Word, oh, which would okay. be a monthly. Mm -hmm. program really for people outside the church okay. and so that'd be one day a month and to um, invite people to come and there'd be different speakers and events and stuff going on so so in some ways I, I do more women stuff than you know what David would he would do because he has his David, own. So, what is, what is, <laughs> <laughs> so David what do you do in the ministry? Well right now um, I'm not too much involved into it right now because of the business has been mm -hmm keeping me full time on doing that and we're opening two new offices so but uh, I like to get more into the men's ministry mm -hmm. and uh, I'll be looking forward to doing that okay. yeah yeah well let's let's talk a little bit about the, the, the business projects you guys have been busy 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 <laughs> uh, you've got the business center yes. you're, you're teaching and uh, educating uh, people on financial literacy mm -hmm. and then you got your health and well wealth seminar so let's start out with this uh, business center tell me tell me about that well the business center is um, is going to be a place I, I, I like to call it like the hometown business center right okay. so it's okay. gonna it's gonna be a place for other team members to be able to come and to 
to uh, kind of stake their flag. So it will we'll have bis different types of business packages. So mm -hmm. they, if somebody just needs 10 hours a month to come and have some quiet somewhere, they could do that, or 30 hours a month, or if they need a part-time, or if they need a monthly office, they can come and they can actually use the different types of conference rooms, different types of office space. Wow. So that'll be pretty cool. And we're going to have a sister office. Um, so there'll be two, because there's really not much in Springfield and Woodbridge as far as office share. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a sister office in Woodbridge as well. So they'll be able to, to go to either or to meet with clients or to do what they need to do. So if, if I needed to have a, a, a place to lay my hat for maybe two hours to meet mm -hmm. clients, I could actually come in and rent the space out for two hours. Exactly. Yes. That's neat. Yeah. When you mm -hmm. look at prices, uh, like conference room could be as low as ten dollars an hour. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it's so, so it's that's a ministry. So a little different than yeah. the virtual the virtual office, right? It, or is it? It's similar, uh -huh. but. Um, but more reasonable in a okay. sense because it goes to help business owners mm -hmm. you know and so it sense it's kind of like to us it's like a, a business ministry in a way right to help other small business owners that were like ourselves trying to find a place to go and to get started without having to put out that big overhead and that big expense that's a fantastic yeah. idea and it will help a lot of so, businesses yep. Okay, then the financial literacy, what is that all about? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's well needed. Uh, that is needed so much. Um, what we're going to be doing there is teaching financial literacy from uh, credit, understanding your credit. How do you improve your credit? Because, you know, if it's not, if you don't have good credit, then it costs you money in sure. the long run. Um, it will go all the way from credit to investing, you know, understanding everything. I want to talk about, especially baby boomers, Social Security. Uh, well, actually, that's everybody because we don't know what that's going to look like, right? <laughs> Um, so it talks about planning for retirement for Social Securities. What about insurances? What about health insurance when you retire? Yeah. I mean, I had a client a big, that a um, just retired, and for her and her husband, we couldn't find anything under a thousand dollars a month. You know, so a there's a thousand dollars a month. Thousand dollars a month, and so we have to look at ways to. We need people to be prepared and to start thinking. And if they've had a financial hardship, then it's like, okay, let's start where you're at. I mean, I don't care if it's five dollars a month, twenty-five dollars a month. Let's start where you are, and let's try to get you into a better position and so that's going to be exciting that's not, well um, yeah along that point do you think that pe uh, people should start thinking about retirement when they first start to work yes or do you think that's the problem <laughs> that we wait too long yes. before yes. we start realizing yes. that we're going to mm -hmm. get old one day and we're not going to be working and we've got Yes. You know, is that is that a problem? We it's a it's a big problem. Um, I was just looking at some new stats about that, and especially women, because mm -hmm. you know, in 2020, women are going to control like 22 trillion mm -hmm. of the finances. So, um, but 22 trillion, 22 trillion. Wow. That's going to be a lot. And then when you look at how many women are not aware or are not comfortable with their finance knowledge, right? Their financial knowledge, then that's like 76 percent of women. And mm -hmm. so, um, so there is a big need, and yes. Yes, for younger people, they definitely need to start because uh, some of us should have started a little bit sooner, right? right. Keeping it right. real. Yeah. Keeping it real. Right. That's right. Keeping it real. That's we right. should have started sooner. Now, the health and well wealth seminar. I was about to say wellness, but health and wealth seminar. Yes. What is that about? Well, that actually just came about recently. So I was visiting, um, I was uh, visiting a friend, and uh, one of the ladies there was talking about being in between jobs, mm -hmm. and um, and she was talking about she started to try to save money. She started making homemade um, soaps, laundry detergent, cleaners, and which cost like twenty bucks for the whole year. And you know what we should do is we need to bring you in. You should, you know, you should do something with that. Launch your business. Do something. If uh, make some extra money because. A lot of us would like natural in, uh, products, products, but right. we don't have time to make them. <laughs> so, um, so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to have a different venues of talking about like natural oils, how to get healthier with that, making natural products for your house, talking about some of the financial education pieces. So there'll be short workshops, maybe two or three hours, wow. and we're going to mix different health topics in with being um, with wealth in a sense, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. if you're not healthy, um, you have stress. If you're not financially healthy, you have Stress. Yeah, stress. Okay. yeah, and so we're trying to help everybody all all the way around. So will, will you? Will people come to your business center, or will you go out? Uh, people can uh, have you come to yes. their churches or, yep. or organizations or corporations. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. um, yes, we're talking about doing one in Frederick.
Fredericksburg, um, and we're looking at getting a church down there because they have a kitchen, mm -hmm. and uh, and then we'll be able to actually do. She'll show us how to make it so everybody can leave with some laundry Wonderful. product, right? Yeah, and well, the ingredients and stuff. Well, David, yeah. what what role do you play in on the in the business venture? Are you in the field, or you know, what do you what do you, what do you? Um, do? I'm out and talking to the business owners mm -hmm. and getting them involved and uh, mm -hmm. trying to get them set up to for their retirement because a lot of times business owners they work so hard and they just try to get their business going but they forget about that they need a retirement right so we try to show them that they can get a retirement through their business mm -hmm. and so when they want to sell their business they have their business as an income and they have a retirement plan also Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm mostly out in the field helping uh, the business owners and connecting businesses with other businesses because a lot of people, they don't even know who their the neighbor is. The next door. The next door neighbor, <laughs> just like at your house, you <laughs> know. House, yeah, the same true. with business owners. They're the same way. So I try to say, Network. why not? You know, let, let's connect everybody together. Oh, yeah. Well, so ha has that been receptive? Because it sounds like you're not afraid to just go knock on the door and do cold calling. Yeah, it's been receptible. I mean, yeah. I, I've connected a lot of people to each other, and they've helped each other, and they, they actually advertise with each other, and it's, it's been pretty good. Okay. Pretty good response. What is the biggest need that you um, see that people have in the area of uh, financial literacy? Is it an educational thing, or...? I, I think it is um, because again, you know, we we specialize in safe money concepts, mm -hmm. you know, and so as we talk to as we talk to individuals, we realize that um, most people don't even know that safe money concept exists. They only know of what their employer offers, and then they don't even know what that is. You know, mm -hmm. they don't know how much they have. They just know they're putting money somewhere, and so that's just the investment part, trying to plan for your retirement. Uh, but then you have all the other pieces. So I think that is a strong, strong need, and you know, a lot of our uh, the financial literacy will be conducting is of course there'll be some that are classes that may have a small fee but a lot of them going out to organizations and businesses will get, you know will be free and okay. so it's something that we're doing as an outreach to the community okay mm -hmm. well you know we are going to take a short station break but we will be right back with Donna and David Burtz so don't touch that dial <music> Welcome back to In the Cool of the Day. Prior to the break, uh, Donna was discussing something about safe money. Mm -hmm. What is safe money? Safe money is really its uh, index product. So what that means is that there are concepts out there where when the market goes up, um, you earn money. When the market goes down, it freezes. You never lose a penny of your principal. So it's locked in. So from year to year, it gets locked in. And so it's very nice because you can still get good earnings, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, you know, you could still get up to maybe, you know, 17, 20%, depending on what the market's doing, but you don't participate in any of the losses. So I think mm -hmm. that's uh, very cool. And they have that in various types of products. Okay. Um, they have like an indexed annuities, they have an indexed universal life, which is becoming big. If you look on the internet, a lot of yeah. People yes. talking about index universal yes. life, um, so there's a lot of different products out there now um, that we like to uh, share with with individuals. So has it been easy for you to get into doors to talk about that, or are people wanting to stay with the old? way of doing things. You know, when people find out about it, they get excited. They you probably know? don't believe it. They probably think <laughs> they it's don't. too good to be true. <laughs> too yes, good to be they true. do. We get that a lot, right? It's too good to be true. What's the trade-off? Well, the yeah. trade-off is there's a cap, right? Yeah. So if yeah. you got to do 30%, you're not going to get 30%, right? You may right. get 20, you're not going to get 30. But you won't so, get that at the bank. But correct, <laughs> you correct. Won't you, won't, you won't get that in CDs, right? Yeah, and um, and then again, you know, you may not gain anything one year if the market's down, mm -hmm. but because your money's not in the market. So, but you use it as a benchmark to credit the account okay. so yeah so um, so that's very cool and and it keeps me excited about it because you know when I get to share it with individuals and they get excited I get excited really all get over again <laughs> yeah because I like helping people you know it makes me feel good that they have peace of mind mm -hmm. yes. well did you and da David ever go out together or in tag team or do you know he's in one place and you're in another no we you, do a lot together you do seminars yes. together that's well, good. Um, we do we do seminars together we do traveling together mm -hmm. Be, you know we work with other teams you know I was in Florida helping to train um, you know another team and so um, some 
one time we went together, one time we didn't. You know, so it just varies. <laughs> and with the two centers coming up, uh, you know, I mean, it'll vary. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am so glad that the two of you are joining us as a host on Keeping It Real. I mean, actually, I've been trying to twist your arm for a couple of years <laughs> to do it. So finally, you know, you guys said yes. So tell us uh, what's in store for us with Keeping It Real. Well, I, I want to cover a lot of different topics. You know, I've... Um, you know, I'm thinking about, um, you know, again, so the lady with the soap, right? Mm -hmm. That's keeping it real because <laughs> a lot of people are trying to find ways to cut corners. Uh, right, thank God true. gas came down, mm -hmm. but we, we have to find ways to, to keep our families healthy, you know, and to, um, to also, you know, be conservative at the same time. So we want to do that. You know, there's financial concepts that we may talk about. Um, you know, there's scriptural concepts that we'll talk about. It's just what's going on in the world today, you mm -hmm. know, and how does it affect us, you know, on a day to day basis? Because, you know, Lord knows that we're not <laughs> by no means perfect <laughs> and, and we can relate to everybody out there trying to make it work. Right? Yeah. So you, you guys are going to be pulling from some of your own personal yes. experiences. Uh, yes. Has anybody figured out how to save in the grocery store? <laughs> <laughs> buy less. <laughs> yeah. Buy less. I'll tell you, I, buy less. <laughs> I, I was there last night and I got two, I think, milk, eggs and bacon or something. It was like $15. It's like, okay, I'm doing something wrong. Oh, wow. Yeah. I it's, didn't have a, a coupon though. That is the thing. So the little coupon it. people. Yeah, you know, they got everybody that specializes in coupons and how to do it. And yeah, it's a, uh, it's it's a challenge. And you know, just a quick tidbit. Uh, you know, when I was watching news one time, and they were talking about the inflation rates, right? And yeah. how inflation's not going mm -hmm. up. But you know, one thing that was really interesting is that gas, healthcare, and food is not wrapped up into that inflation rate. Really? Yeah, the three things yeah, that keep going up, keep going well, up. gas yeah. just came down, but yeah. it are not included in the inflation, inflation That's rates. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, so those are kind of tidbits mm -hmm. we share with, when we're doing seminars and stuff for people. But yeah. Now, I'm just curious, that, that name is really catching, keeping it real. Who came up with that, you or David? Uh, I don't like even together. remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We were I think talking we both about agreed that. on it. Yeah, so. it's like being I mean, real. That's so all, what, so that's all it, we I can mean, do is be real, right? <laughs> was there anything in particular that had you come up with that, or just kind of popped in your head? It just popped in, you know, just <laughs> popped in my head. And it's the uh, it's the fact that I don't like exaggeration. You know, mm -hmm. I, I don't. I'm. That's all I can do is be real. Yeah, but, we, you know, yeah, we just like to share our experiences, and mm -hmm. of course, our experiences are probably like. A lot of other families out there and yep. a lot of other uh, married couples and business owners. So we just want to keep it real and just tell everyone exactly mm -hmm. what we come up with. Well, let's talk about the family a little bit. I know that uh, I think the last time you were here, um, CJ was here. Wasn't mm -hmm. she here on, yes. the, on the show? Mm -hmm. So uh, do you have children? Are they involved in the uh, ministry with you? Are they involved in the business with you? So, so we do have... Um, so for the ministry, you know, everybody kind of does their own thing. Mm -hmm. The because um, we have children, so we have six between us. Okay, okay. with a Brady bunch. <laughs> so. Brady bunch, yeah. <laughs> Except we have four. Yeah, you know, we have four girls and two boys. Mm -hmm. So um, so one lives in Florida. The other ones are here. Um, she'll be back here shortly, having a baby in June. Oh, so wow. that's exciting. That's exciting. That is. And we is have this your first grandchild. Uh, second. Second. second, second. We have another okay. one that okay. will be two in May. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so that's exciting. And they're back home now. So, um, and then I have a daughter in Reno, so she's out there. So, um, so they're kind of doing their own thing. CJ right now is the only one that's in the business. Okay. Yeah. That's and, good. Yeah. So CJ. So she's bringing in the young group, right? Hopefully. Trying to. <laughs> trying, to. <laughs> trying, to <laughs> yeah. trying to talk to the millennials, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Don uh, and Dave, what do you see happening in 2015? Um, not only just in uh, people's regular lives, but just in the in the spirit. You know, of I, things. for me, I have a, a spirit of expectancy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been I just sense that 2015 is different, and that this I'll year, say. yeah, <laughs> and it's uh, it's going to be. I, I believe that you know God is giving back to his people this year. Um, you know, there's been a couple different people I talked to that said that in their church, you know, they were receiving the same, you know, the same word. Mm -hmm. And um, and I, I think that we all need to be in a position to be ready to receive. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to have that spirit of expectancy. We need to go forward and we need to do what we need to do, right? Mm -hmm. Not just say, okay, God, I've been waiting. I'm just going to sit here and come on. Mm -hmm. We have to do what we need to do too. We need to mm -hmm. take that step. And um, I think it's going to be- you're waiting 
on instruction. You do whatever you find your hands to do. Yes, to what's in your moving. heart. God, yeah, God it puts moving. it in your heart. You know it in your spirit, right? Mm -hmm. That and and uh, and you just seek Him and you go forward and the doors are open. So I just think that this is gonna be an exciting year. I mean, it's been, a, so far it's already been a year of change for us, right? right, right. <laughs> doing yeah, the show, doing right. two business centers. Mm -hmm. And so, um, <laughs> but I don't believe that we're the exception. I believe that, you know, God wants us all to be, be there too, so. Dave, uh, uh, is there any plan uh, on your part to do any outreach to uh, men, young men and, and boys? I believe that uh, that is in, in the in the process. I mm -hmm. mean, I really uh, I'm going to do outreach to the men of families mm -hmm. because a lot of a lot of things that they are experiencing they don't understand, and I'm trying to get to them to to like leave a legacy to their family to understand more family values, mm -hmm. and in the process also talking to them about God and the role that He plays in their family. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people don't, a lot of the men don't understand the exact role they need, need to play in their family. Yeah. That's and true. then when you start talking to them, they're like, you can just see them thinking, <laughs> you know, the, the wheels are turning. And it's like, wow, I never heard that before, you know. So do you think that is because, uh, say, for the last 25, 30 years, um, a lot of times there haven't been men in the families, they're just single women and women trying to raise boys and men. Um, I don't have any children, mm -hmm. but just from what I can see, I do have a, a, a nephew that I'm guardian of, that it's tough for women trying to raise boys. And oh, yeah. I don't know if that's just my way of thinking. You know, I'd be interested to hear what you have to say about that. Well, I, I think it's really tough for the the woman to take both roles, yeah. you know? And, and I'm talking to a lot of the men that are out there. They do need to step up and, and be in that role of a husband and the dad. Yeah. Take control of your family and be the man that you need to be and, and teach your children the things that they need to be taught so they can be successful and be a, a, a great person in society. Right, well, very yeah. well said. Yeah. Danielle, thank you for saying that. Now, you guys have, as I said earlier, a new marriage. <laughs> you have children <laughs> and families. You have a young business, and you also are working uh, in ministry. How in the world do you keep it real and balanced? <laughs> well, keeping it real, we're not always balanced, okay? Yeah. So, it seems like um, a heart, you know, yeah, it's a jungle. Uh, it is. It is. Um, it is. Um, you have to find you have to find your place. You have to find your time. Like for a prayer closet, um, mine becomes the car in the morning. You know, it's like you don't really have time. Um, prayer closet. What is yeah. the purpose of a prayer closet? To me, it's really to connect. Um, it's to connect and get that wisdom for the day. And it's, it is not, well. So you're not really in a closet. You no. Could be, you could be, <laughs> so because some people yeah, have large be. closets and they, yeah, they go can, in and they yeah. fix it up, but it's some place that you can, you can get pull away. away. Okay. Yeah, get away and pray. And you know, and here's something that's important, and, and, um, and I'll say the last couple of weeks we've been running, and, and I haven't really done this, but, but I, I will do it on occasion. Well, I'll sit there and I'll say, okay, Lord, um, prayer is two ways. Right, so it's one way is you're talking to the Lord. The second way is you got to shut up and listen. <laughs> and we don't take time to just shut up and listen for five or ten or fifteen minutes, right? Mm. Just sit there and just clear your thoughts and go, okay, Lord, um, you know, I want to hear. And I've done that, and it's been very cool um, recently. And I was going, okay, God, I'm believing that these thoughts are from you. So I'm going, okay, Lord, talk to me. I want to hear it, and I'm going to write down all my thoughts that come to me, right? And then at the same time, I'm going, okay, Lord, now confirm to me that this is you. And it's been cool because right as I'm talking, as I'm writing, uh, I get a verse. And I write it down. I don't know what it is, so I go look it up. I get a verse. That's amazing. And, yeah. then, and then I keep writing, and I get home, and then I look it up. So I may be, uh, I forgot where I was. Oh, I was on the plane last time when I did it. And, uh, and I got home, and I looked it up at night, that night, and it was... Uh, it was the Lord saying, um, and I, I think it was Ezekiel 7. Now I forgot what it was off the top of my head. <laughs> but it was, uh, and, the, and the word of the Lord said. Mm -hmm. It was just one liner like that. But I was mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, that is so exciting, Lord. Thank you for confirming that those thoughts were from you. So when you sit and you're quiet and you're not talking and mm -hmm. you're listening to him, 
-hmm. He is speaking to your heart. Yep. Which is that how you would say he's speaking to yep. your heart mm -hmm. and confirming yep. uh, things that he wants you to do or maybe things that you've asked him about. Yep. David, do you have that same um, type of experience? Yeah, I do. Um, a lot of times uh, I'm like going from the house to the office and a lot of things uh, I listen to the Christian radio channel mm -hmm. and a lot of things start coming through and you know some of the things we were thinking about or we were talking about and uh, that uh, the answer just just comes and it's just like wow you know it's uh, a, a verse that they were reading on the uh, radio and it's just like oh that's pretty interesting so wow. so uh, I mean when me and her were discussing that the night before I mean it's it's God's Word telling you because right. it's the answer mm -hmm. you know, it's just well, Donna, I'm going to ask you in 10 seconds if you can just tell me what advice that you would give to singles and couples about how to keep it real and balanced in their lives. Communication, communication. is key, you know, okay. and, and that goes across the board. Okay. Communication with God and com communication with each other. Donna had the last word. <laughs> <laughs> Our time is up, and we want to thank you for this awesome interview. We are excited about your upcoming segment, Keeping It Real, with Donna and David Burks. Thank you out there in cable television land for watching and supporting in the cool of the day. Remember to reach out and touch somebody today with a smile or a kind deed. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.